Turin, a small town in the county of Mayo, made famous in the 50s and early 60s by its ballroom of romance. Once a mecca in Connacht for dance lovers and courting couples alike, it lay dormant for years, that is, until now. However, many will associate the town of Turin not just with dancing and romance, but with the infamous night of December the 23rd, 1954. It is reported that on that fateful night, the devil himself made an appearance at the ball. Well, yes, I was also at the dance hall with uh, half a dozen lads, uh, friends of mine, and um, dances were always held on a Sunday night in Turin. And Father Horton was always on the door collecting the money. But on this particular night, it was a beautiful moonlit night, and um, we were outside, and uh, this big black car pulled up outside, and this uh, tall stranger got out. And we noticed when he was walking, there was something funny about his feet, and uh, one of the lads said, you know, he's a fierce-looking devil, you know. And as the song goes, a devil he was indeed. Night, a young maiden was dancing called Bridget O'Flynn. I will swear her lips ne'er knew the taste of a gin. When there came a dark stranger, or so I've heard tell, who said, Dance with me, Bridget, come on, what the hell? His eyes were a-burning, her heart was a-smile, and all the time Horden sat counting the pile. But when the dark stranger arrived with her coat, she looked down and she saw the cleft foot of a goat. With a thunderous crack did your man disappear, leaving sulfurous fumes spreading all through the air, and the grass neat his hoof, Sure, it shriveled and died. It won't grow to this day still for all that they've tried. And your man Jimmy Horden sat down feeling sick to think he'd been cheated and robbed by Owl Nick. Would you credit it now, boys, was all he would say, that I never did get that owl devil to pay. And to this day, the story survives. However, it has not been embraced or appreciated by many a local. I heard reports about that, but it's a whole lot of nonsense and I wouldn't even track my brain thinking about that or I wouldn't even discuss it. Rubbish. You'd be, you'd be, and you'd be somewhere giving your addresses and I'm going to Tory and well, they'd say, oh, that's where the devil appeared. And I'd say, I, I don't think it ever happened anyways. I'm sure it didn't. So they wouldn't say no more then. That was it. Indeed, it was rumoured at the time that it was rival ballroom managers who ensured the story spread far and wide in the hope that it would deter people from Father Horan's dances. I, well, if it was, they made a big mistake because but they were getting twice as much the next night and they were coming from all over. They were, they were coming from Cork, from the south. Uh, and you're hoping to see, you know. <laughs> So famous did this tale become that it made national and international news, putting Turin firmly on the map, along with its now renowned late parish priest, Father James Horan, the one and same Father Horan responsible for the building of Knock Airport. His early entrepreneurial skills came to the fore in Turin when he raised funds from America to build the local parish hall and enlisted free local labour to ensure his dream came true. He then successfully filled it to the rafters night after night in the days before disco. I used to travel from Roscommon. We used to get Tom lifts. We used to do everything to get here. But Tom here has better memories, I'd say. He nearly died. I danced a many night here years ago, and you could not move in this floor. When the, when the, when the dancers dropped, you still wouldn't be able to see no, no floor. Crowds pushing and shoving are the great times. Well, they were mighty odd here. Very good, like, to be wedged. I often danced out here. Couldn't get inside the doors, the main doors. I was here in 1954. That's uh, 48 years ago. I was 31 years at the time. Still going strong. Tonight brought life to the old ballroom in Turin once again, and it brought many people down memory lane. But it's what it will bring to a certain family in Bosnia Herzegovina that truly counts. But tonight we're hoping to raise enough money to house a Muslim woman who had her kidney for sale. 
to try and raise, to try and get money to put a roof over her children's head. Our aid worker in Master picked the story up by finding it in the paper how she was selling her kidney, hoping that an American would see her plight and come up with the money. She was only probably going to get a couple of thousand pounds for it, but it would have been enough to, to find some kind of accommodation. A great dance was had by all and there was a resounding consensus on the night that the last days of disco may have passed, but ballroom dancing is alive and well, even if the old devil didn't bother to show up for a twirl. Oh, 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 oh